Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the top 5 best laptops for programming in 2019. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. To see the price and find out more information about these laptops, you can check out the description below. Also make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest technology reviews. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5, it's the Asus VivoBook F510 UA. Programming laptops tend to be pricey and full of features. For the budget buyer, there's always a struggle finding a good programming laptop that'll satisfy your needs. The Asus VivoBook F510 UA falls into that category. It may not be as high in performance status as the other high-end programming laptops, but it gets the job done. The VivoBook has a surprisingly strong build quality and a sleek and simplistic design. The Vivo Book weighs just over 3.7 pounds and will fit into any bag with its 0.8 inch thickness. It features a 15.6 inch display with a full HD 1920x1080 resolution screen. It also features in-plane switching panel technology to deliver vivid colours and crisp images, a technology we see only in high-end laptops. The keyboard offers a big keyboard with all the keys in the right places without gimmicks and the touchpad feels decent. The speakers sound really good, managing maximum volume without scratches and a bit of bass. It also has both USB Type-A and Type-C ports, an HDMI port, a 3.5mm headset jack, an SD card reader, but no Ethernet port. Wireless connectivity comes via an 802.11ac Wi-Fi. 8GB of storage goes along with 1TB 5400rpm of hard drive, but there is an M2 2280 slot next to the hard drive if you wish to upgrade to an SSD for faster boot times. The system comes equipped with a quad-core 1.6GHz of base frequency and up to 3.4GHz turbo frequency, Intel Core i5-8250U processor and 8GB of RAM and an Intel UHD Graphics 620. The processor adds some much-needed performance to stay up to programming tasks. VivoBook's graphics can be considered decent, which may not be as powerful for gaming, but will perform most of the tasks without a hitch. The battery life is not considered excellent. It has a battery life of 5 hours and 30 minutes, which may be enough for a day in the school with moderate usage. The Asus VivoBook F510 UA AH51 is the best budget option for programming with a great processor, decent graphics and a 15-inch laptop which is extremely rare in budget laptops. It's a good stepping stone for getting started with programming and will provide good value in the long run. A laptop that will satisfy needs without breaking the bank. At number 4, it's the HP Spectre Folio. The HP Spectre Folio is as exotic as it gets. It looks like the Ferrari of laptops and performs like a Ferrari too, with a price to match. Its sleek and thin design clad with leather screams luxury. The Cognac Brown genuine leather feels soft to the hand and is an eye-catcher for sure. It's definitely something that'll make bag designers jealous. At 3.4 pounds in weight and 0.6 inches in thickness, it's light and elegant, slipping into most backpacks with ease. The laptop doesn't have a lot of ports, but it has all the ports that a 2-in-1 should have. It has two Thunderbolt 3 ports on one side and a USB Type-C, as well as a headphone jack on the other side. On the rear of this convertible, it has a dual SIM slot. It has three modes as HP has marketed it, the laptop mode, forward mode and tablet mode. Transitions are very smooth and polished. HP has certainly put a lot of effort into this aspect. Folio has a 13.3-inch touch display, which is amazing. It's colourful, vibrant and responsive with a good amount of brightness, giving very good viewing angles. It's a common issue in 2-in-1s to have cramped keyboards, but that's not the case in the Folio. It features a surprisingly comfortable keyboard with spaced and backlit keys. The trackpad is decent, but not up to par with other components, probably something that will need an update. The developers have designed the hardware with power efficiency in mind, the Folio is equipped with a Y-series Intel processor, which translates the dual-core 1.5GHz Intel Core i7-8500Y CPU is not nearly as powerful as the H-series. Even with a weaker processor, the Folio tackles most of the given tasks without breaking a sweat. The processor allows the Folio's fanless design and 8-hour battery life with heavy use and 18 hours in moderate use, which is revolutionary with these kinds of designs. It also features 8GB of RAM and 256GB of SSD. 
In the benchmark tests, it's not only scored very well, but is a premium laptop with a different target. It's not designed to be gamed with, but is instead aimed at the business person. It's a uniquely designed laptop with an edge of exclusivity written all over it. At number three is the Asus ZenBook UX430UA DH74. The Asus ZenBook UX430UA DH74 is a great addition to all of the Asus thin and ultra portable laptops. It doesn't disappoint while following the footsteps of many Asus greats that have delivered performance and portability in the same package. ZenBook's design is simplistic and timeless with a glossy finish on its lid made from aluminium alloy. It's a great choice if you want to make a statement in the crowd. The lid can easily get hairline scratches though, but it shouldn't be an issue with proper protection in a laptop backpack. Speaking of backpacks, it will do no harm to your back. The whole thing weighs only 1.25 kilograms with a thickness of 15.9 millimeters. It'll fit into every backpack without a problem. Coming in with a decent number of ports and adapters, connectivity is also not an issue. The keyboard on the ZenBook is quite comfortable with each stroke having a travel distance of 1.4 millimeters and gives good feedback. The keyboard is also backlit. A surprising part was the touchpad, which was excellent and rarely found in ultra portables. In the top right of the touchpad is the fingerprint scanner, which is pretty accurate and seems to work every time. The near bezel list screen increases the screen to body ratio, giving us a 14 inch display in the standard body of a 13 inch laptop. The screen is pretty comfortable when using it in brightly lit ambience. Its matte anti-glare coating decreases the contrast a little, but if you want to get on with productivity, you'll get on fine with this one. The speakers are also pretty decent, with good audio output quality. While not the loudest speakers we've heard, it should fare well in most situations. The laptop comes with an Intel Core i7-7500U processor with a base clock speed of 2.7 GHz capable of turbo boost up to 3.5 GHz. Coming with 8 GB of RAM and a storage of 256 GB of SSD, it's given great results in tests overcoming most of the given tasks with flying covers. It further cements its spot as one of the best all-rounders in the market. It also has a decent battery life of 4.5 hours under heavy use. It has all the features needed in a light and thin laptop and more, giving you great performance in the best possible value. At number two is the MSI GP73. The MSI GP73 Leopard is an outright high-performance gaming laptop ready to satisfy all your gaming needs in virtually the highest quality possible in today's video games. The Leopard looks like a muscle car ready to roll, with robust edges along with symmetrical lines. The lid has a striking wavy finish with an elegant brushed finish. It looks pretty heavy with a thickness of 32 mm, but looks can be deceiving because it weighs only 2.7 kg. It's quite a surprise in this category of high-performance gaming laptops. The Leopard also feels very sturdy and durable, but it means we can't open the display with one hand. You can find a lot of ports in this one, ranging from all sorts of USB ports, an SSD port, an HDMI port, a mini display port output, audio and mic jacks, and a Kensington lock slot. The keyboard is pretty well built in an island style, providing a superb writing sense thanks to the size of the keys and good feedback from them. The keyboard can also be customizable to your liking via its backlight, which adds to your gaming experience furthermore. The touchpad is also pretty good. It's rather small for the size of the laptop, but offers good precision and response. Coming with a couple of Dynaudio stereo speakers found below and in front of the laptop, they're pretty decent speakers. The amount of bass is questionable, but it is there. Performance-wise, the Leopard comes equipped with the latest 8th generation Intel Core i7-8750H processor. It's also provided with 8GB of DDR4 RAM at 2.666 MHz and 1TB of hard drive. Both of these can be upgradable, with two DDR4 slots, meaning the RAM memory can be increased up to 32GB, and we can also upgrade the SSD for faster boot times. It also has the powerhouse of the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 with 6GB of GDDR5 RAM, which yields high performance in the highest settings for most of the games even in 4K resolution. It has an Ethernet killer chipset compatible with Gigabit Ethernet, 802.11 AC Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0, giving us great connectivity and better latency. The battery life is around 4 hours with light use and about an hour with gaming, which is expectable in performance prioritized laptops such as the MSI GP73 Leopard. It's also pretty comfortable for longer gaming and developing sessions due to its low temperatures on the wrist. 
And at number one, it's the Huawei MateBook 13. The Huawei MateBook 13 is a work of art, dominating in every category for its size and solidifies its spot as one of the best laptops in the market. While following the footsteps of its predecessor, it doesn't disappoint and it further gives Huawei an edge over the competition. Design-wise, the MateBook 13 follows suit with the competition, with a full metal body that's available in both dark grey and silver colours. It comes at 2.87 pounds in weight and 0.59 inches in thickness. It's a narrower laptop than the competition, eliminating the side bezels and removing the speakers from on top. The speakers are placed on the underside of the Ultra Portable, which results in a decrease in audio output quality. Nonetheless, audio quality is still decent. The shape and design make the laptop feel like you're carrying a tablet in your bag, meaning it's really comfortable if you're out and about darting between meetings all day. The 13-inch screen features 2K resolution and provides good colour accuracy and sharpness with the 3 to 2 aspect ratio. It also has pretty good viewing angles, which should get you through in most situations. The keyboard is extremely comfortable and feels big with superb key feel, also with good backlighting. The power button functions also as a fingerprint scanner. The trackpad is the best in the business, very large, precise and very responsive for both single finger and multi-finger gestures. We also get most of the basic ports, giving us good connectivity options. Performance is where the MateBook really excels. It comes packed with a quad-core Intel Core i5 with 256GB of SSD storage and 8GB of RAM storage and integrated graphics. Packed with that high-performance package, there'll be no signs of slowing down from the laptop, even while streaming 4K videos and surfing simultaneously in a dozen tabs. No stuttering with this one. In benchmark tests, it's miles ahead of its competition, scoring 17,136 in the Geekbench 4 general performance test. The laptop has a fan, but you won't even know it exists. You'll only hear it in extreme circumstances at really low audible levels. Battery life is pretty decent too, clocking 8 hours in 1080p video playback tests. The MateBook 13 offers the best overall laptop experience with the best performance on the market. It's versatile and more eye-catching than its competition, which should appeal to the eye of the modern fashion-conscious city dwellers. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.